My name is Daryl, and your name is Sheila, and we've been coming here since 2006. We started off in the college when uh, Southgate was there, and then we moved to the existing building, and now we're here. We moved here out from Canada in 2005, just so, because my work at the time was uh, out in the Iroquois and Sheila's was in Ottawa, so Kempville was a perfect, uh, pretty much halfway point for us. And uh, so we were part of the Wesleyan Church uh, before, and then uh, with uh, Pastor Mark being out here, and uh, Roy and Lori were actually moving out at the same time, uh, and so it was, uh, it was a good fit. So um, when, we, when we started coming, they were starting to build the old building. And um, so we, we were just new, so we weren't a big part of that. But um, since Pastor Ben has come, change is like the word of the day, right? I mean, there's always change and that's what makes it so fun. Uh, so um, how many years ago did we start the Deep Waters campaign? We were part of that four years ago. And um, we were all on board that we were going to build this fabulous church um, and so things have been moving along and changing ever since that and it's been very exciting. The whole thing started a couple years ago when uh, we sold our house, we sold our business in uh, within a couple months we retired and then I got asked to do the um, to head up the building committee and uh, honestly it wasn't really too keen on doing it, but I thought I'd wait a couple days and make it look like I was actually thinking about it. But then, <laughs> then I felt that this is something I should be doing. And then, so Sheila and I both retired the same day, last January uh, 31st, 2019. And so then uh, we took a couple months off and then we started here at the church. I uh, didn't really think I was going to be working here that much, just once in a while, but started off with uh, taking down the canopy and um, it was one of the hottest days of the year so yeah, it, was, it was a lot of fun and, and we put up the silt fence and then just kind of went from there and I just felt very uh, compelled to to work here and I don't know why because I basically have been sitting at a desk for 38 years I don't have any construction background I'm not that handy I think I am but I'm not really and uh, so I just, I know I just felt compelled to be here. I, I still don't know really why. I've learned a lot, the skills, um, the people I work with, even come to church here and, and volunteers that have come out that I've never met. And uh, Nathaniel even says, Nathaniel from hockey says, how do you not know these guys? I said, well, we have, we have three services here, plus one in Winchester. You can't know any, but all the people. And, uh, yeah, it's just been great getting to know them. Um, even people that don't come to church, I ask me what I'm doing in retirement, I give them the story, and uh, I don't know, maybe that'll set a spark with somebody someday, and I've actually had a couple people that I've talked to that have come by, driven by the church, they're not even from the area, but just seeing what it's, what it's all about and talking about the rink, so. And um, so we got a couple weeks here left, I think, at the church. Uh, to finish the project and uh, then see what God leads leads us uh, after that. Maybe uh, uh, we, we love traveling and maybe this will lead to some kind of mission work uh, in the future or if anybody has a, a church they're going to be building in their backyard, I can help out. <laughs> Got lots of experience now. so uh, Yeah, it ended up being way different than what we thought it was going to be. But um, yeah, it was... Charles was saying like we don't know why like we wouldn't exactly say we're handy and I'm not exactly strong but um, we this is a little book and I'll tell you about that in a minute that I've been writing things down but something came to me one time and it said um, you have been appointed for such a time as this before God created you um, he knew what you were in store for and so I'm like that is very cool like I mean I, I was born I'm, I'm in Kempfel now. I was born at a certain time because this is what I'm supposed to be doing now. I have no idea why, but this is what I'm doing, so I'm going to keep doing it. Anyways, so um, 
Then we, also we went away for two months and then we came back and um, we started on the church. And then last year we went away for a month and we came back and then um, COVID hit. And um, we were going strong and we were expecting, I was expecting, oh, we'll just work right through this and God will just keep this going. But it did all shut down and um, for six weeks. So I remember thinking, what, what is going on? Like, I thought you wanted us to build this church. And so then I started in my devotions expecting answers. And um, he would always, I, so I I'd had this little book and in it are so many things that I wrote down. And um, he'd always give me the answers to my confused state, right? Because we were all in that state. And um, he told me one time, he said, stop trying to figure out your own scenarios. Let God figure it out for you. And I'm like, yeah, he knows how this is going to work. He knows the ending to this. So um, we would just keep coming. And um, we would, you know, come get our little fix and see if everything was okay and the building was okay. And we, we were kind of the security guards. Um, and then we got back to work. We opened up again and we got back to work. So uh, we continued and um, we'd come home and we'd be like, oh my goodness, like everything on us hurts. And uh, when I was looking back through my notes, this came up seven times. He gives strength to the weak and power to the weary. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I can go back there tomorrow and we'll keep going. So um, God has been, I've seen his hand in so many things through this. And um, it's, it's um, I, I come here and I'm so blessed, I'm inspired because I just get this big smile on my face because um, this is, t to most people, this is crazy. Building this church and, and moving forward like this. But um, this church represents um, hope and it reminds me that God has a plan he showed us that plan four years ago. His plans have not changed. And he's, he's moving forward, he's continuing with this plan, and he has big things in store. And um, I tell you, I don't wanna miss out on that. I don't wanna miss out on what's going to happen next. I, I wanna be part of it. So, um, yeah, so in a couple weeks, hopefully we will have our church built. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and um, then we will wait and see what God wants us to do next because um, it's going to be very exciting. Um, yeah, I think just uh, being a part of Southgate, uh, the way it is uh, uh, very community oriented with the play structure that we have here for the kids, it's going to be opened up to all the, the, the mothers and kids uh, from the whole community. Uh, the skating rink, that, that's going to open up a whole new uh, avenue for for the church to bring more and more people in and uh, I think that's uh, that's what I love uh, most about Southgate the the community uh, oriented focus that they have we're showing God's love in new and creative ways and um, it's it's very exciting <laughs>